Hello everyone and in this video we are going to talk um, we are going to discuss a problem with decal system for your game so uh, you can see that now I'm in the asset store and I have here uh, you know many assets that is connected to decal system some of them are free some of them are not free so they have price so let's just start with free assets so this asset I tried this asset this pretty cool but it's working very good only for such you know uh, very simple meshes like a trio uh, like you know the pyramid like box or plane so it's very good if you have you know not very complex meshes in your game uh, and uh, yeah I can recommend this free asset you know if you're going to make very simple decals for your game yeah also there are lots of other uh, you know assets so this asset, asset is pretty expensive but I have no idea, you know, I'm not going to spend that money because I'm not sure, you know, if I, you know, if if I, you know, will be satisfied with this asset. So, you know, you can try this. Uh, and, you know, mm, uh, 23 guys are are trying this asset and this asset is, has, you know, 5 stars. But it's about, it's about, uh assets with prices right good maybe good assets but with prices right and uh, you know quite good you know pretty pretty you know okay so you know, normal decal system you know we're a basic decal system but without price and I can recommend you to you know to use this system but uh, I was going to implement wa uh, my own decal system and uh, I had some problems because you know, I know how to do it, I know the idea, but I cannot implement it because you know, I, you know, I don't, you know, I'm not very experienced programmer. So, and I'm going to show you an you know, idea I'm going, to, I I'm going to, to implement and eventually I will show you the cool stuff I found on the internet so let's just go to paint as always and I'm going to show you you know, you know my idea you know how I see decal system how I see this you know concept so we have our plane no 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 so we have a script right and in this script we have you know variable uh, you know mm, Weights, right? Width int int. Let 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 it be int, and uh, you know length. No, let us be. Uh, okay, so uh, so you know uh, this right and this. So widths and this. I don't remember how it's called. Length or yeah, maybe length. So widths and lengths. So and we have you know two variables in our script, and then we you know uh, assign here you know ah segments not width segments of our plane. So and we assign here you know uh, 32 right and 64, and then our script generates uh, a, a plane with our segments right, and here we have. A ball over here and we want to place our decal onto this ball and also onto uh, the ground under 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 this ball you know like this and we recast you know from every vertex of this plane we do recast so you know it, it's my you know vision and you can see that, uh, that you know some uh, some where uh, some vertices are hitting ground, so they you know, so 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 there will be no uh, mm, a plain decal on this on on ground, 
and this is a decal on the surface of this mm, ball so this is how it uh, you know how it hits the ball so here we have our decal on the ground right on the ground and this is and this is where uh, Raycast you know doesn't hit uh, at the ground so we have here you know uh, the place where decal is not you know um, assigned to to mesh so here so on the ball and this is how I see it so you know first of all uh, you know generate a plane then do raycast and then uh, and then create another mesh based on on collision but you know it's idea but I don't know how to implement it and that's why I'm you know I started to google around the internet to find out you know, what what people have in mind you know about this implementation and I found very cool free scripts you know for you guys to try so I'm going to switch back to unity and I have here uh, two two you know not scripts scripts it's where you know basic name it's it's you know let's just call it a package not script so so the first one is really really basic first one is really basic so I'm going to go to my assets it's uh, so the so this script has name let me show you this it's somewhere in a Google I was googling around and find it in a unity forum I guess I don't remember exactly where I found it but I'm just going to enter it into search box okay here we go ah uh, yeah so this is a pretty pretty old package but still you know it's you know has some value so this is really really basic one this one I will give a link in description uh, so I will provide link so it's a really really old one and really really basic so it creates a plain decal plain decal and I will show you how it does work so I uh, I launch it and I go and I switch to my to play window and I uh, click on the surface right in this case on on the on the wall so come on play this for me why does it take so long okay pom 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 it's a blood right and this is how it does work so we you know it works uh, only on the plane so this this decal you know system you know does work only for a plane because once you place here a sphere for instance sphere smear so I will show you what's gonna happen so I place here a sphere so this system is pretty basic very basic you can see it here so this is how it but if you are working uh, for not 3d game not 3d game so this solution can work very good for you so I will show you what I mean here so you know if you're working uh, not in a 3d so if your player cannot you know go here and check it out you know so this uh, you know is not working properly you know your player you know may think if he's in, uh, if uh, if there is a, a 3d projection but if there is a 2d so you can see that you know it's working pretty good for 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 two dimensional uh, you know world so you know like this it's about this system and we are going to uh, you know to switch now to more advanced system decal system so I'm going to launch you know this center and I will show you what I mean so this decal I'm going to show you here it's uh, where is my light where is the light directional light and this system is more uh, advanced but also th this system 
is um, it, it's not dynamic so you assign your decals right in the editor right you know once once in editor so okay something is wrong happening to my eye I don't have shadows ah, okay so here we go this is my shadow I click here save uh, blah 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 let's call it B in the brackets so uh, I have here a bunch of like you know groups yeah. groups of objects so it's uh, decorations it's light sphere and plane it's a camera main camera and decal so this group has only one game object it's for now it's empty and this game object is located uh, right above the you know the ball where I want my decal to be located so and what I have to do I go to component scripts mm, simple mesh decal uh, and once more I'm going to scripts decal manager I pick prefab this one and I pick material this one and now you can see that this is a letter S now you can see it here just like in a Duke Nukem 3D map editor you know sprite effect or, or some kind like that so you can see this letter and it does mean that everything is working properly so now you can create your decal and it will be located in the air and now you should look very carefully so you can see so this is this decal will will be placed it onto onto a collider so this uh, sphere has such collider and now I'm going to place this decal onto collider of my sphere so I'm going back to decal and I place my decal something is not good happening oh first time in my life what's going on? ah create new decal yes yes I'm so stupid sometimes so I have to create decal and then I have to place it so you can see that this decal you know is uh, now assigned to to collider of my sphere so you can see it very good right so this is where my collider of the sphere and this is where my decal and also now I'm going to create uh, I'm going to try to combine plane and decal so I'm going to delete this oh no I can do it where easy you know with this so remove component remove component and once again I'm going to do the following action I'm going to move it a little you know here right so um, it's, it's like here boom boom I'm st okay so how to see it's closer is a metric. I'm still confusing, you know, with this mode of u unity. I'm using, you know, simple mode like, like in a golden sours as the key. Not okay. I'm now I'm I'm becoming dizzy with this mode. So let's just go back to our work. So once again, component scripts. Uh, I forgot. Okay, simple mesh decal, component scripts, decal manager, right? Okay, decal manager. And now I'm going to switch. Uh, you know, I'm going to choose to pick simple mesh decal and material this one. And create decal, right? And then place decal. And you can see that it's working pretty good with. Mm, with. Uh, with mesh, I mean with plane and this uh, ball collider. Also, it it would be really cool, very interesting if we could ignore some some uh, mesh. I mean, not mesh. I mean a layer or maybe even mesh. Yeah. So y y so now you can create your cool decals 
cool decals for your games. What's about this SMD? What's ah? So there is a special shader created for this stuff. Okay, let's just uh, create new. Uh, how to create? How to create new? This um, new 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 decal. I have no idea. So I have here combined decals, right? What it does? Generate what? Triangle step. I don't. I cannot. Strips. Generate triangle strips. Hmm. Very interesting. You can try it out because. So create new new decal, right? So I can. Oh no! Create new decal. Okay, another decal. Cool. So I can. Do it like this in a place to kill. Wow, that's nice. Look at that. I can like, I can do this very quick and cool. So, where is it? Uh, button. How to create a uh, place to kill? Right, place, place or what? No. Create new decal. Yes. Warning. The delete button removes all decals, decal groups, and all your saved decal meshes. Mesh combine options. Utilit utilities. Place decal. Rest of decal position. Let's just create new decal. Uh, okay. I can I make it bigger? Whoa! Aha, uh -huh, but this is not working good for... It's not... Ah, I know why it's not working good. Because we have here, you know, the segments of this. Uh, so the segments, uh, you know, they are becoming bigger. And they are just ignored by our decal. So, you know, I have to... So, for better result, I guess I have to make it smaller. So let's just try it out. To make it smaller, like this. Yeah, the smaller decal you has, you know, you you have a better result for this. So that's that's how it does look right now. So yeah, free decal system for everyone. Very very cool and free decal system made by guy with a nickname. Let me show you. Okay, so this is a link. I will provide it, it, it in description also. So, this is the first script I show. You know, I show you. So this is it's. So this script is now eight years old. Yeah. No wait. Yeah, eight years old this script and this is that one I showed you you know you know um, here right now this so it's uh, two years old this script called this system called simple mesh decal script called as script so not many comments so I can you know so I so I think you can change it so so this guy is pretty cool guy because he he updated download link for you two years ago. So that's good, yeah. So thank you for watching this video. Have a good time and bye bye. Bye bye and have a good time. See